Hey guys, welcome. Um, I'm going to talk about UFC 5, and um, this is not an actual review. I'm just going to rant about it. And it's been out for about, what, three weeks now, I think, going on three weeks. And, um, you know, it's, it's gotten some good reviews. I believe IGN gave it like a nine or something, and um, a lot of people were not happy about that because they, they're accusing IGN of... Um, or of EA Sports of paying IGN for that rating. I mean, I don't know if that actually happens in the industry, but whatever. So I'm here to, I guess, defend UFC 5. It doesn't really need defending, um, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Here's the bottom line. I'm gonna start with that. UFC 5 is awesome. It is hands down the best MMA game to date. And yes, it's even better than UFC Undisputed 3. That's like everybody's sacred cow. So, um, but before you um, leave this video, before you turn turn me off, um, you know, I'm gonna be fair about this. I'm gonna be realistic. And I'm also gonna say some bad stuff about UFC 5. You know, it's not a perfect game. I'm not saying that it is, but it's still the best MMA game ever made to date so where should we start well you know people are complaining about UFC 5 a lot they're saying it sucks it's this it's, it has all these flaws see their MO the people who are complaining about this is to um, trivialize all the new features of UFC 5 minimalize whatever while magnifying every little flaw it's like a classic narcissist style you know of dealing with things they don't like you know um okay so basically the people who hate ufc5 are not genuine mma fans did i say that right yes i did People who hate UFC 5 don't really care about MMA. They're fighting game fans. They're not MMA fans necessarily. I mean, they might know who John Jones is. They might know some moves, but... See, here's the thing. Um, I'll be all over the place as I'm talking, so excuse me. But the thing about combat sports, uh, a video game made about combat sports, is that you're essentially dealing with a human body. You're trying to simulate the human body and there are so many variables okay let's start with the damage system like in real life you know what really happens to the brain when you take punches how do you model a knockout in a video game I mean, what's really going on during a knockout what are what are the what's the, I guess the physiology or the biology of it I don't know I'm, but what's really happening inside the brain we don't know I mean, it's not like a health meter, but obviously we're, we're going to have to use something to um, model what happens inside the body to represent damage in a video game. I mean, you know, obviously we have to, but, you know, that's just one of the many, many variables involved in making a game that's based in real life. It's not Street Fighter, where you can make everything as balanced as you possibly can because you do not have the constraints of having to um, try to simulate you know real life stuff that really is impossible to simulate in a video game it just can't translate i mean when a knockout happens i mean how do you simulate you know what causes a brain to actually shut down like for each individual and um, when somebody gets knocked out are they truly physically incapable of continuing or perhaps it's a little more psychological maybe it's a mental issue maybe the fighter just had enough and wants to quit and doesn't want to go on anymore so when he gets dropped by a big shot he just turtles up on the ground while his opponent tees off on him is that guy really knocked out or did he just quit i mean stuff like that you can't really um accurately represent in a video game what's going on inside the mind not just what's happening to the brain 
like how does accumulative damage truly work. But anyway, that's not really what I'm trying to get at. My point is that a game based on the human body that's really impossible to um, simulate in a video game is just never going to be balanced. As balanced as a fantasy fighting game where you can fine-tune everything. And that's one of the biggest problems or the biggest issues that players truly have when they're complaining about UFC 5. It doesn't matter if it's UFC anything. If it's ba what they're trying to do to UFC 5 is turn it into a Street Fighter game. Because these guys, I'm sorry to say, they have no life. They just play multiplayer so they can climb the leaderboards and feel good about themselves. Otherwise, their lives will mean nothing. They'll be worthless. That's just a sad truth. So they'll do anything to, um, they'll whine and complain, flood the, you know, Discord and wherever else they go to complain. You know, go on um, Metacritic, try to um, screw up the scores, make fake accounts so they can write multiple bad scores on the game. That's how pathetic they are. But he, here's the thing. With, um, you know, with a game like UFC 5, because it's not a closed system like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, like I said, it has a lot more variables. That means there's also a lot more room for exploits. And when you're dealing with multiplayer, it really all comes down to finding that winning formula where an X amount of strikes, an X amount of takedowns, an X amount of submission attempts would equal victory. And that's really what the meta is in UFC 5. You just just have all these cheesers, these exploiters, non-MMA fans who are racing to come up with that perfect formula that they could rely on to bring them victory each and every single time they face off against someone who's actually trying to fight realistically. It's a race to that formula. Now when some now these you know there are more than there's more than one formula when it comes to winning, obviously. I mean there are other valuable variables besides just one formula. But usually, somebody's formula is superior to another player's formula. And the player who loses can't take it, you know, because he thought he had the perfect formula, but then some guy comes along with a better cheese and exploit than he has, and now it's all the game's fault. And that's truly what's happening with UFC 5. You just have these cheesers who don't really care about MMA, they don't really care about realism. All they care about is winning at all costs. And they can't take it when they lose. They really can't. And um, if you've watched any um, multiplayer match of UFC 5 on YouTube, you know, these guys don't fight realistically. It looks like an arcade game. It really does. The way they move around... It, it's a poor man's Mortal Kombat, you know, because they're trying to make it a formula, but it's just not. So it just becomes a complete cheese fest. Now, on the other hand, if you want to, you know, watch my channel and watch all my uploads against CPU, uh, you're not going to find any more realistic looking matches in UFC 5. Because, um, you know, UFC 5, as far as I'm concerned, is a single player game. Um, fighting against a CPU is a much more pleasant experience than fighting against a human and the CPU fights a lot more realistically than any human opponent would. Now I'm not saying it's more challenging I'm just saying it's more realistic. I'm not playing UFC 5 just for the challenge or for bragging rights. I'm playing it for my enter entertainment. Uh, I didn't pay 60 bucks, 70 bucks to become somebody else's entertainment. I'm not gonna pay 60 bucks just so some cheeser He's going to have his way with me. No. Forget that. I love UFC 5, but the first and only time I ever stepped in the multiplayer um, arena, I ended up fighting John Jones right off the bat. You know? And that's really the story of UFC 5. Everybody's going to be John Jones. Everybody's going to be the top-rated fighter. 
unless you're using creative fighters and you know that's even worse but um so now yeah let's talk about what makes ufc 5 so great okay so hopefully you've been watching um you know this fight that's been playing this whole time now the changes are really really subtle but if you're a true fight fan if you're a true mma fan if you're into combat sports then what you can appreciate about ufc 5 are all the nuances there's a lot of little adjustments that they improved on that they made from ufc 4 and um you know starting with the striking animations um, the strikes in ufc 5 are a lot more natural the, tra the trajectories make a lot more sense like watch this slow-mo here um you know the point of impact is right where it should be like even if they miss a hook you can just tell that there's an intended point of impact on the punches and um these little subtle changes are a big deal i mean if you're not trying to simulate striking as accurately as possible in an mma game then why are you making a mma game for it's what it's all about and see the thing with ufc4 you know i think i think that was a great game but there was a lot of little things that seemed just a little bit off it was almost right but then you would make you would um compensate for it in your mind by doing little things just to make the game feel right at least in your head like you know certain punches will connect in a weird way or miss in a weird way and you sort of just compensate for it by you know doing certain movements to make up for the inconsistencies now those kind of inconsistencies are basically gone in um, ufc 5 like the punches behave the way they should behave the pack the punches that ought to land a certain way land precisely the way they ought to um the way you uh, evade punches the timing the spacing it seems just right and you're no longer having to compensate for all these little imperfections and that's a big deal now I understand it's very subtle and just looking at it you know it's really hard to tell a big difference but the difference is huge if you pay attention and if you're fighting realistically that's the thing and um, obviously the biggest change in um, UFC 5 the biggest improvement has to do with the submission system and I think it's probably like the best well there's no probably about it it absolutely is the best submission system I've ever seen in any MMA game I mean I came up with my own ideas just you know making drafts of it just for my own entertainment um, and I couldn't even come up with anything better than what they came up with so kudos to EA Sports for this awesome submission system and um, I'm glad we don't have to deal with those stupid mini games because that single-handedly ruined the experience for me like in the ufc 4 like whenever the cpu would attempt to uh, submit me you know that whole mini game would pop up and cover the whole screen and just destroy oh look at that knockout did you see that that was a good knockout um but yeah the submission system is great the, gra the grappling is a lot more fluid because of it it's transition based and um yeah if you're looking if you're a true mma fan and what if you're looking for the spectacle of a fight you know the, the ebb and flow of a real fight and you're looking at each fight like a mini story where something happens there's a middle there's a beginning there's a middle and there's an end there's like a narrative that's happening if if you look at fights that way then ufc 5 is basically perfect you know there's not much else i could ch change about it well that's not true I i'm fanboying right now but yeah if, if you're into it for the fights for you know the spectacle of a real mma match then it delivers in spades especially if you're playing against a cpu just play against a cpu is my advice i mean stay away from cheesers stay away from multiplayer but um like i said in the beginning i'm not just going to talk about the good stuff yes there are a few flaws with ufc 5. um there's always something that you can add to the game to make it better like an infinite amount of things but let's i'm going to try to stick to the most obvious ones first off the submission system it's like the biggest addition in the game it's like it changed it changed the whole game for me 
But the problem is, there's not really any tutorial for it in the game. Maybe there is, but I just haven't, you know, looked into it as hard as I can. But that's just the thing. For such a huge new feature like this new submission system, you know, I think EA Sports should have made it, like, so obvious um, for everyone where to find the tutorials for it. It should have been in your face, explaining every little facet of the submission game. And um, that's one of my biggest complaints about this game, not just the lack of... Uh, of a tutorial but you know for the submissions but for every little thing there's a bunch of things that I see the CPU do that I can't figure out how to do myself and I'm sure like there's tutorials there somewhere well I'm not sure but my best bet is to go on YouTube to look it up and that shouldn't be the case you know like for instance like I don't even know how to do a simple guillotine counter when the CPU is trying to take me down I think it's L1 and R2 or, or something like that. Anyway, I have done it a couple times by accident. There's a few other little moves that the computer does that I can't figure out how to do. Like one of them is this um, body lock takedown where you know the CPU shoots on you for, for a double leg. You end up on a in a body lock position and then he finishes the takedown with a trip. I don't know how to do that. Now I've been looking it up on, I've been googling it, but I still can't, can't find any answers on it. And I'd really like to be able to do that move. So yeah, that's one of my main complaints. The other complaint I have is that they need at least a few more positions on the ground. And functionally, they don't even have to be any different than what's already there. It can just be a variation in position, but functionally it's the same. I would like to see um, slight variations on the full guard position, half guard, everything. Just just the visual variety added, you know, to, to the ground game. Also, um, the fence. I wish they would have added what people call the Khabib position. And um, MMA fans know what I'm talking about. It's um, when the bottom opponent is on a seated position back against the fence and the top guy has his legs wrapped around the bottom guy's legs trapping him so he can just maul him the way Khabib does to his opponents. Uh, people have been asking for that position to be patched in since you know UFC 3 and um, I don't think we'll ever see it at least hopefully they'll, they'll do it but you know that's my complaints. One of my complaints, um, more fence positions. You know, I, I wish that we can um, wall install a little more. I know it's a boring thing in real life, and you know, people are gonna say, oh, you know, that's bad for gameplay. I disagree. I think we should be able to make each fight as realistic as possible, even adding the boring stuff in, like, you know, the stalling against the wall. So um, little things like that, I wish they would have added. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the ground and pound strikes. Uh, I'm going back to the improvements now. That's another good um, imp improvement they made. Um, the ground and pound feels a lot more satisfying now, even when the opponent's blocking the punches, at least when their guard's up. When, when they're blocking it, you know, you can still see the impact affecting them, especially during the finish. It's all about the finish. You know, uh, previously when you knock somebody out and ground and pound, they just sort of did this on their back and it looked really stupid. But at least now they sort of do this and get in the turtle position or a, a fetal position and, um, you know, the referee stops the fight. It's a lot more satisfying. It's just that little thing that they fixed and it makes a world of difference. Also, the um, back to the submission system, I don't know if any of you guys noticed, but during the submission system, the fighters' faces would turn red. Um, I'm not sure if it's um, the new struggle system that they added um, because I turn off my HUD, so I'm, I'm not sure if anything's happening with the meters when your face is turning red. Uh, but the, these are just little things that um, you know make UFC 5 so much better than the previous games. Now. Um, I do hate the fact that they didn't add any new fighters and um, it seems like they're just gonna add like a fighter or two like every other month and that's not good enough. I, I wish they had more fighters. 
um, more venues. Um, more modes. Yeah, everybody wants the pride mode. Um, to me, um, pride mode was great for um, UFC Undisputed 3 because um, pride was still sort of fresh in everybody's minds when it came out. It, it was, but now it's like ancient history. If, if um, you add pride mode now, I think, I mean, it'll be fun to be able to um, fight in a ring instead of uh, the octagon. But having those rules with modern fighters, I think it's just, I don't know. I mean, more is always better, obviously. But pride mode is not something that I, I'm really longing for at this point. Because it's just way too many years ago already. Like 20 years ago when it was in its heyday. So, um, yeah, unless they bring back a whole bunch of older fighters in their primes, you know, from the pride era. So yeah, um, basically that's all I have to say. Um, UFC 5 is great. It's fantastic. Don't listen to the haters. Um, hopefully you've been watching this, these videos playing as I'm ranting here. And hopefully you can appreciate how natural, you know, the animations look. Um, how realistic the flow of each fight is. You know, the spacing, the strategy, the tactics behind it. Hopefully you can see that, you know, it's very subtle and hopefully you can see the difference between like this video and somebody else's UFC 5 upload. It's a bunch more arcadey, the HUD turned on and not just the HUD turned on, but just the way they fight. Um, so yeah, um, don't believe the hate. Do believe my hype because I speak the truth. And anyone who disagrees with me is full of crap. That's all I'm saying. So, that's it guys.